The transition in the use of different substances for tools and weapons has been used as a marker for the progression of civilization. There is a logical progression with these um, substances. However, this didn't happen all around the world at the same time, the same sequence from one substance to another. There was generally a gradual transition rather than an overnight change. For example, bone tools might be used to mine copper ore. Wooden, horn and bone tools were the first tools that were used. The real step forward change came in the use of stone. The ideal stone for this was flint, which could be chipped or napped to produce a hard edge for knives, arrows, spears and axes. Finding the right stone and working it took a long time. It required them to be attached to a wooden handle, haft or shaft for most uses. Next came copper, which is usually a widely abundant ore, but it requires to be smelted at just over 1000 degrees to be used. This requires organised mining of the ore, gathering of the fuel to melt the ore, then processing the metal. Unlike stone tools, this required quite a large group of people to cooperate in order to make it. Copper is a fairly soft metal though, but any edge or point that is blunted can easily be restored. The next big step forward, however, came when small amounts of tin were added to the copper to form bronze. The tin has a, actually a very low melting point, but actually it is a relatively rare metal when compared to the abundance of copper. So for most civilizations, they had to trade in order to acquire the amounts needed for the metal production that was continuing. Bronze, however, was a far tougher metal than copper and could be made from into a far wider range of tools and weapons and it kept its edge longer. The use of iron was a complicated um, step forward. It required far higher temperature than copper to melt and normally involved specialist uh, smelting facilities utilising coal or charcoal to heat the ores. This in turn involved a large number of people in the whole process. The other issue is that iron isn't actually a great deal stronger than bronze and it can in certain circumstances be quite brittle. It's thought that some nations turned to iron due to the lack of available tin which might have become uh, mined out or not available through trade. However the key advance with the addition of carbon to iron, creating steel, far tougher metal, which was ideal for a wide range of ta uh, tasks that were needed. So we have going from stone, copper, bronze, and to the iron, or as it should be called, the steel age. That's the ancient use of metals for tools and weapons.